we're doing now is the, the homeowner here feels like the softener is not working as well. So we're gonna test it out and then run through the regen. If it's not working correctly, normally it's just that it's not regening correctly. So that's what we wanna check for to make sure that it's always as soft as possible. So that's what we're gonna look at right now. So um, right now you can manually get your system to go through the regen. Normally it does it at 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, you know, every seven to 10 days or depending on your usage. We're gonna manually push it. So we're gonna hold down the regen button. And we're just gonna pay attention to it and make sure it sounds correctly. So we're gonna go through the first stage. So for the first one, for the first three minutes and uh, 50 seconds, it's gonna fill up the salt tank. So right now the salt, the water level is gonna be about like an inch from the bottom. For the next three minutes, it's gonna move up. And after three and a half minutes, it's gonna get up probably to about right here, about 60, 65% high. It's gonna stop there. So I'm gonna just fast forward, okay? I'm gonna hit regen again. It sounds like it's working correctly and Normally right here, what you want to look for, since it's filling up, you open up this little white canister and just take a look to make sure you see the water moving. See if you can zoom in there. See if you can see the water in there. Yeah. You should see the water moving around and that's a sign that the water is filling up. So that's what you look for. So we'll go to the next one. And then for 120 minutes, for two hours, it just hangs out. Uh, it wants to soak up as much salt as it can into the water. After those two hours of getting as much brine liquid or, or that uh, sodium ions, then it does an eight minute backwash. So for eight minutes, anything that's in here, it's gonna go in reverse. So this catches a lot of sediment and it catches dirt. So it's gonna actually backwash it and kick all that out. Eight minute backwash, we're gonna fast forward. After it kicks everything out, all that dirt that's on top, it kicks everything out. Then what it's gonna do, once it cleans the top part out, is it's gonna pick up all this water now, and for the next hour, it's gonna pick up that water slowly and let it drip into the system. And that water is full of that salt, and that salt is what releases the calcium. So now that water is gonna be slowly going through, penetrating through all the resin, it's gonna release that calcium. It's gonna do that for about an hour. And after that one hour, the water should be, you know, towards the top end. It's gonna go back to the bottom. It's gonna remain about an inch from the bottom, the water. Again, these are specific with chronic units. So we're gonna fast forward that. This is for 10, it's been an hour. It's soaking up the water. Now it's gonna do another backwash because it's salty. This is inside this tank is salty. You don't want that water in there. So now we're gonna get that salt out. So we're gonna do a backwash for eight minutes. Get everything out. So we're gonna fast forward. And then the second to last stage is a rinse. So now that we got that salt out, now we're gonna do a rinse and just get all that water through. During the backwash and the rinse, everything's going to the drain. Nothing's going into the house, and the drain here is connected somewhere to the drain. So that's the rinse going forward. And then the very last stage is fill, and it's gonna fill up the brine tank with five seconds worth of water, which is gonna leave it you know, right around the two inch mark. Everything sounds correctly, it kinda sounds like a vacuum when it's working. And then uh, after it fills, it stops. And during this regen cycle, the system is on like a, it's a, a bypass, let's say. It, you're not physically bypassed, but it is bypassed because the system, when it's cleaning, you're getting normal city water. That's why it cleans at two in the morning so that, you know, if someone's taking a shower, they're not gonna feel that hard water. All right, that's it. System looks good. So now if we go to the next, it shows that it's gonna be cleaned every 1,666 gallons. That's dependent on the hard usage. Before, it was probably uh, washing a little bit too fast. It was probably washing too early, and that's gonna cause some issues. So we're gonna set it to the right setting, and then we're gonna follow up with the customer in a few weeks and come back and test the water.